The new Whirlpool W collection with Sixth Sense technology that fully guides you to achieve perfect results. Whirlpool, sensing the difference. <laughs> You're very welcome back. Now we have a classic dish that works for either lunch or dinner, depending on what way you want to serve it. Or what time you get up at. Mm. Simon is letting us in <laughs> on the secret to his perfect quiche. Yes, this is a kind of this is a cracking little uh, uh, lunch dish. So you can serve it hot, serve it cold, with a side salad, etc. People, uh, we had a chat about this, people yes. tend not to have a go at it because of the pastry. Mm. It's a little tricky to make, uh, and over the last couple of days in my kitchen at home, there were several attempts, because ah. I wouldn't be a baker. Baking requires patience yes. and exact measurements. So. Okay, so this can go wrong. It can. So therefore, is there any shortcuts we can well, make? Well, I'm gonna show you the, the procedure, just to show you how to make it, and then we're gonna do what's called blind baking, and I'll explain what that is. So, to make the pastry, because it's a short crust pastry. So the difference you'll notice with this is there's no eggs in this, okay? So we've got 200 grams of plain flour that I'm gonna sift into a bowl. So when you haven't got eggs in a dough, it means it's not going to stretch when you need it. Do you know what I mean? Okay. So that's why it's called short. It's short crust pastry. It's basically gonna be crumbly. So it's difficult to work with. Mm. So sift in your flour. And then all I'm gonna add into that then is 100 grams of butter. Now, it has to be at room temperature, okay? Mm -hmm. Can't be hard. So I've got 100 grams of butter. And all I'm going to do is, with the tips of your fingers, just work the butter into the flour. So basically you're pinching it, lift it up, crumble it, and then it fall back into the bowl. And all you're trying to do, obviously, is combine them. And the texture we're looking for is breadcrumbs, okay? So all you can see I'm doing is just rubbing it between my fingers, then it drop back into the bowl, and you'll start to see it just turn into breadcrumbs. And that's the texture we want. So it's going to be very loose, okay? Mm. So to bind it slightly, to help you um, roll it out, all you do is you add a couple of teaspoons of cold water. Mm -hmm. So my recipe calls for about three, maybe two, three, four uh, teaspoons of water. So all you want to do is bring it together so you get a dough, and then what you're gonna do is, when the dough comes together, you're gonna wrap it in cling film, and then just let it sit in the fridge for about 20 minutes. It's not a messy job at all. No, not no, at all. No. So, Simon, you know what I'm going to ask here. Can yes, you love. take a shortcut on the short crust pastry? Well, you see, I, I, <laughs> I did look at it during the week and I thought, could I use like a puff pastry or something? Or could you just yeah, buy it? A pre-bought one. You could. I mean, mm. you can you buy can, them. Of course you? you can. Yeah. Okay, but, so is that the hardest bit of the gig? A, that kind of is the hardest bit of the gig. Wrap that in cling film and just stick it in the fridge for about 20 minutes. Okay. And you want that to firm up. Now, the process of baking it then, we're gonna do what's called blind baking. So after you've had 20 minutes with that in the fridge wrapped up, take it out and on a floured surface then just roll it out, okay? Now it will crumble, it'll come apart, you just need to have a bit of patience, which I don't. So I threw many rolling pins across the kitchen the last couple of days, and this is not working. Just take your time. So roll it out, okay. get it into the pie dish, and this is what you do when we say we blind bake. So get yourself a piece of greaseproof paper, and I have some uncooked rice. Okay, you can use baking beans, you can get little ceramic baking beans, you can use coins, whatever you want. You fill your, your uh, pie dish with these and you're gonna bake it then for 15 minutes at about 200 degrees. The reason being is that if we just rolled out the pastry and put it into our pie dish and put our filling in on top of it, the bottom of the pie won't cook, it'll be soggy. So it won't crumble. So this cooks the pastry base before we put the filling in. So after 10, 15 minutes in the oven, Take the rice out and cook it for about another five to eight minutes. And you end up then with your base. Okay. So you can see as well, I've done what's called docked the pastry. I just got a fork and just put little holes in it. Again, just to let the air in of the pastry. So when you have your base done, let it cool completely so we can then turn our attention to the filling. Now with a quiche, it's kind of a fill your boots kind of thing with mm -hmm. quiche. You can kind of put whatever you like in. For this, I'm using my favorite veg, which is a leek. Just gorgeous, creamy, peppery. So what I've done is, in a pan with a little bit of olive oil, I've fried off 200 grams of pancetta. Lovely. You can use bacon, you can use rashers, just cut them up if you mm. want. Or if you can get the little packets of pancetta, great. So fry the pancetta off for about five minutes, then add the leeks in. I've got two leeks here that I've chopped finely and washed and cooked them down. Now, to be honest with you, 
mm. I'd put that on a bit of sourdough toast now and just work away. I mean, there's no better thing than onions and bacon cooking. So we've got leeks and pancetta. Mm. So then for the wet ingredients for the filling, we start with four eggs into the bowl. A little bit of luxury here. We've got four tablespoons of double cream. Oh, okay. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I'm going to put a little bit of salt. You see, when we buy a shop bought or a shop, you know, yeah. ready made, or in the heat, deli, or yeah, you don't necessarily think of all the cream and the no, eggs. No, you all don't the exactly. Calories, I suppose. I'm hitting that with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and then I'm going to use a Gruyere cheese, which is a Swiss cheese. Yeah, lovely. Um, which is beautiful. It's uh, it's a sweet, creamy cheese, but there's a little bit of a salty taste of it as well. I have 150 grams here, but at this point. I'm just going to add about three quarters of the cheese into that because I want to hold some back for the filling, for the topping. topping. And then a couple of tablespoons of chopped fresh flat leaf parsley. And all we do is we combine those together first. You'll see the eggs starting to break up. Don't go too mad with the whisking, just combine the ingredients. And as you say, Simon, anything you have in the fridge, bung it into this yeah, pie. It's put, a handy way to use up leftovers. Exactly. You can put scallions in there. Or you can put onions baby potatoes that you've cooked. You know, if you want to chop them and put them in. At this point, then, add your veg in. So these have cooled down as well. So I cooked these a little earlier on. Mm. Hence the lovely smell of bacon and onions when you walked into the studio at 8 o'clock this morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Thought it was um, your new aftershave. So all we do then <laughs> is combine those through. You can give it a little bit of seasoning. Don't go too heavy with the seasoning because you don't want too much salt in this because the pancetta will have a little salt. And as salt. you said, the cheese has a touch yeah, of salt. Yeah, exactly. And also the uh, leek, even though it's a creamy vegetable, a little peppery taste off it. So all you do then is you get your base. We pour our filling in and we've preheated our oven because we have the oven on from cooking the pastry. 200 degrees. Did the base have to cool or not? Yeah, you're better off yeah, letting okay. it cool. It's not a, a, a deal breaker, Aiden, but you should let it cool. So just spread that as much as you want around the pan. Oh. And then with the rest of your cheese, just sprinkle that on top. And again, if you can't get your hands on Gruyere, like a white cheddar. Whatever you have. Perfectly yeah. fine. That goes into the oven 15 minutes at 200 degrees. Don't eat it straight away. Let it sit for a couple of minutes, mm. but you can eat it hot. I cooked this one last night. That's gone cold, lovely with a side salad. I think quiche is nicer cold. Yeah, yeah a lot of people yeah, say that. Yeah, like they prefer pizza, it cold. It's just yeah. as good cold. Just that as would good. be yeah. would be too. Yeah. Well, we're about to find out because we'll taste during the break. We will indeed. Well Simon, Simon, that's amazing. That was lovely. A pleasure, an absolute pleasure. And it went perfect. So full recipe details so are up on our website. Um, or if you like, Simon said he would call around to your house yeah, just and make sure it for in. you. No, no, you can just call him. So if you have a pen, his mobile number is <laughs> 087. <laughs> oh, no. Gonna be busy. Oh, no, God. still to come. Riverdance Mastermind John McCalgan will be joining us for a chat. See you back here shortly. The new Whirlpool W collection with Sixth Sense technology that fully guides you to achieve perfect results. Whirlpool, sensing the difference.